know that. Yes. I will point out which features are new or improved upon from Mr. Nixon's father. So Frank and Hannah Nixon moved here in 1912. That's okay, I know it's sort of impulsive or uh, second oh, yes, yes. But I do Definitely. want to draw your attention to the bedroom. Because yes. that is the actual place where Richard Nixon was born. The reason he was born here and not a hospital is yes. that January 9th, 1913, mm -hmm. it was very cold and very rainy. And it was felt that it would be easier to bring the doctor to Mrs. Nixon rather than Mrs. Nixon up to Whittier, which is where the doctor was. Oh, Whittier. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, <laughs> so if you look on the bed, yes. the Nixons were Quakers or Friends. It was very traditional in the Friends community to uh, quilt and give it as a gift to the couple when they were getting married. And so there's baskets on that quilt, and underneath each basket is a signature of the women who would have quilted that for them. And for my friends who are tuning in, uh, this is Richard Nixon's birth home, or birthplace. Um, is it... I'm sorry, sir, but you have to stay on this side with the docent. I'm sorry. That's no problem. Okay. So um, yeah. if you look at the, uh, on the bureau, you'll see just a couple of minutes. Yes, ma'am. see two pictures that are... Oh, yeah, right there, yes. Grandparents. Yes. And one of the things I find most interesting and most exciting is if you look above the bed, you'll see two picture frames. Those picture frames don't have a picture that's particularly descriptive, but what's interesting about it is they were uh, Mother's Day gifts with our future president, who now is our former president, yeah. made for his mother. Oh. And he's been taking care of her since. Nice. If you look over here, yes. we have the table where Richard Nixon learned to debate. This is the actual furniture. We're very lucky at this house that around the time he was vice president, his mother was getting sick and his middle brother was in charge of putting, settling the house and, and putting things away. And he, they, he and his wife decided that it might be important someday, so they put it all in storage. So oh. we have about 90% of the actual furniture rather than replicas of what might have been. Wow, that's, wow. Nice. that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's and pretty cool. was that Mr. Nixon's little baby chair? That was all five brothers' baby chairs. Oh, wow. So, um, <laughs> you should know that they don't make it like they used to because it survived right. five boys. This table, yeah. um, you know, in the days of Mr. Nixon's, President Nixon's life. Yeah. You didn't have cell phones and you didn't have television sets. So you really had to talk to each other. And the <laughs> used to give them a topic. Beautiful. And then they had to debate that topic at the dining room table. So wow. That, some of his that, that, skills. That's something interesting. Yeah. Right here we have what we call the original Nixon Library, which has family books. But I'm very intrigued with weddings. And mm -hmm. one thing I really like is on the top shelf the fact that that's. Hannah and Frank's wedding uh, guest book. And it's oh, right there? Yeah. I'm going to come then, in right here. And if you look above, right next to the door, you'll see a, an essay that was written by Julie Nixon. Oh, over here. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that was part of a school assignment for which she got an A. And she's sitting with her grandparents and her older sister, Trisha. Well, above on the mantles, we have wedding gifts that were given to the Nixons, other wedding gifts. But I did tell you, I'd tell you a little bit about the fireplace when we got to it. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's so interesting about the fireplace is the Nixons moved here to farm. They moved here to be lemon and citrus farm, uh, orange farmers. It wasn't a great business that they survived for nine years. Mm -hmm. However, Frank Nixon was particularly handy. And so he designed the fireplace, which was not part of the kit. Mm. Many of the neighbors came and said, that's really cool. You don't really like that. And so he actually made extra money baking fireplaces mm -hmm. for other people, um, building that, which is a great little side job. Huh? Yeah. Now if I could draw your attention to the living room. How many instruments do you see? Uh, I see a little is it, uh, guitar. Or a violin? Is that a violin? Violin. <laughs> violin piano. Um, you got that flute there. Is that a flute? That is a clarinet. Clarinet, there you go. Well, three. Those are three of the five instruments our president played. He also played the accordion and the saxophone. And he told one of the docents earlier, uh, much earlier than my uh, tenure, 
that um, if maybe some of the newer musical genres were available, mm -hmm. then he might have uh, skipped politics and got into music. Wow. wow. National Geographic is not here just because we didn't have other magazines. It's here because it actually was a magazine that Richard Nixon loved. His uncle would uh, give them to the family. And he once said that he wanted to visit those places when he grew up, and he actually has <laughs> many of the places. I want to draw your attention to the five boys. Only four of them ever lived in the house because the little guy on the end was Edward, and he was born in 1930 after they moved out of this house. Um, but there were not five boys alive at the same time because the first one, Harold, uh, died of tuberculosis related illnesses uh, at the age of 23. The next little boy is our future president at four. The one in the middle is Don Frank Nixon. He was uh, named after his father, whereas the others were named after kids. And then Arthur uh, was his fourth brother, and he died of a tuberculosis related uh, side effect in, at, at the age of seven. They were not twin, twins or quintuplets or anything like that, but they all are about the age of four in that photograph. Very cool. So uh, this photograph over here is yeah. Hannah Nixon with her uh, four, five sisters and her brother. Let me, let me tell one me. in the back. Yeah, he definitely looked like his mom. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> So, let me Are we able to go there? We're going to go into the kitchen. Oh, we are. Right now, you're <laughs> jumping the gun. No, she says it's a little hot in here. <laughs> These are uh, everyday dishes, and they are a wedding china. Okay, very nice. And if you come in, and if you go over to the door. And these are all original pots and pans. And the pots. It's very small, very small kitchen. Yeah, it's a very true. small kitchen. Imagine that there are six people who live here because the four boys and the two adults live in this know, house. It's only 190 square feet. Uh, I'm sorry, 900 square feet. But, interesting that you mentioned it, these pots and pans are all from the Nixon uh, family. What is oh, wow. The stove is not original, nor is the ice box. So are you familiar with an ice box? So for my friends who are tuning in, because I'm, I'm at President Nixon's uh, birth home, where he grew up, right? Up uh, to the age years. of, for nine years, so for his first nine years of his life, he lived in this house. So, so the ice box is the precursor to our refrigeration today. Oh, oh this right here. What you did is you would That's have nice. this card here and tell the ice man how many pounds of ice you needed. Oh. This is not the original sink, because the original sink was pumped. Water. Oh, I see. And this sink is uh, now modern. Water. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's modern, but it's oh, uh, wait, more, water. more modern. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give your hand to yourself. <laughs> now, this is what's known as a California cooler. And that is cellar air is cooler generally than um, yeah. above ground air. Right, right. So it maintained your fruits and pies a lot nicer than if you had just put them out on the shelf. Oh, wow. Nice. That pie looks pretty good. Yeah, that, <laughs> I know. it's amazing what they do with uh, synthetics these days. Yes, ma'am. If I could just draw your attention, you might want to go over here. Over here, yeah. Standing. I'm going to tell you a little bit about okay, this. Okay, so I see potato sacks there. and. So that was a canning room as well as a bathing room. You see that little bathtub? Yeah, I see it over there. They're not six. Oh. The six person who was bathed in that tub because it was Sunday and you just took your turns. The cleanest person right. first. Are we able to go this way? Oh, no. The Off limits. Bar, bar room is Mrs. Nixon's sewing room. The, oh. In between, you'll see a staircase. That staircase is extremely narrow. If you're any wider than me, you're going to rub your shoulders on the edges. Oh. And there is no banister. It goes downstairs? Oh, it was upstairs. Oh, okay. And this is what you would see if you were going upstairs. You would see two twin beds where the four boys slept, and you'd see a desk. Oh, and it's, been, it's not it's particularly right. large because the whole mm -hmm. house isn't particularly large. But they did say that the only problem they ever had mm -hmm. was a pillow fight every once in a while. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they said everything else was pretty good. And that's a, that's a pretty amazing. And, um, Running Water came in yeah. 1914, so they did have an outhouse originally. Okay. 
Uh, Miss Hannah Nixon must have been a little bit fortuitous because that presidential cookbook is from 1909. That, that's interesting. I guess it was in his uh, future. Yeah, well, <laughs> for boys, it's uh, <laughs> maybe good odds. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you have any questions? Uh, no, no, thank you for the tour. Um, oh, my pleasure. Thank you, thank you for visiting with I us. Are never, you all from here or so, from someplace else? I'm from L.A. County, born and raised. Um, you, well, you got the Venice Beach. Yeah. I used to work here. Uh, did you really? Yeah, let me cut my video. <laughs>